here to talk about Age of the Spirit, how the ghost of an ancient uh, controversy has shaped Christianity. Originally, there was to be one book entitled The Great Emergence, and the intention in doing The Great Emergence originally uh, was to cover both the sociological and political and intellectual changes that had caused The Great Emergence and the development of Emergence Christianity. And it turned out to be more than one book. And so we split them. The first book had to do with all the contextual changes. Then the second one was the history of emergence. As we worked on that, it became obvious that in many ways we have moved into what's now being called the Age of the Spirit. And the third book in the trio is called The Age of the Spirit, which is to say that for the first time since Pentecost, the average Christian is tending to engage the Holy Spirit directly or in community with other folk. What we're talking about is to be present night after night, day after day, in a group of people with the obvious gifts of the Spirit. Now, there had been appearances of the Spirit all through 2,000 years, but primarily to individuals or to small communities. It's not until you get to the Azusa Street experience in 1906 when you really get uh, in that converted stable, 200, 250 people gathered every night preaching 24 hours a day and the Spirit visibly present, uh, and the gifts of the Spirit visibly present. And they stay there for two years before they begin to scatter all over the world. Uh, and they are joined ultimately by the Charismatics uh, in the middle of the 20th century. The church has never been really clear about what it thought about the Trinity, and we've never really resolved it. And it's the dangerous issue. It's probably the most dangerous issue in Christian theology. It's the one unforgivable sin, of course, is to speak wrongly about the Spirit. So it's not something one goes trippingly into because it's going to be fun to have a discussion. Um, it's one you go p painfully and carefully into. Um, but since it is the question on the, on the table, uh, and, and since it's there and not going to go away, it seemed the time to at least write the history of the controversy. In the immediate future, I hope it forces the kind of discussion that allows us to become, um, to answer the charges of polytheism, uh, and that allows us to become actively engaged with the Spirit as a people of God.